hello hello there welcome back uh, welcome back to another video in this course today we're going to be talking about preventing wallet hacks in decentralized exchanges all right just the same way a lot of hackers are trying to hack people's facebook accounts people's bank accounts people's other social media handle that's just the exact same way that people are always trying to hack into other people's crypto wallets so today that's exactly what we're going to be talking about now before i get started there are actually three um types of wallets that you can have all right there are three places where people store coins number one a physical ledger wallet all right like i said a physical ledger wallet is a small device all right maybe almost the size of a flash drive right you can actually send your cryptos into this physical device and a lot of companies a lot of companies sell them so you can actually get one it's a small device that you can actually send your cryptos to and store them there all right and this is actually the most secure way to store your cryptos all right but then it is quite pricey so not everybody can afford it some some of them go for maybe three hundred dollars to fifty dollars three fifty dollars and so on and so forth all right depending on the company that is selling it but what in, what you should understand is that it is actually the most secure one but then like i said not everybody has money for it then the second one the second place people store their cryptos are on decentralized exchanges all right decentralized exchanges like truck trust wallets metamax token pockets um safe palm kepler and so on and so forth all right these are decentralized exchanges people store their coins there all right then people also store their coins on centralized exchanges but like i have always said in, in some of my previous videos it is not really advisable to store your coins in in centralized exchanges because you really do not have control over those coins the exchange can fold up and your money is gone forever all right the the exchange can restrict you maybe for one thing they feel that like you did or something like that so um i'm not i'm not saying this to scare you but you should know that there are like three places where people store coins the best the best is the physical one where you send your coins to and the ledger is with you all right you send out your money anytime that you like all right this is the safest one all right nothing can happen to it because you have full control mm -hmm. then the other one is the saving your coins in decentralized exchanges like trust wallets and the other and the others and then lastly uh, centralized exchange binance bybit um l bank and so on and so forth all right the 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 best the best the best the best is the physical one but if you cannot afford the physical one there's there's something you can do it's better you keep it on a decentralized exchange but now a decentralized exchange can be hacked but these are things that you can do to prevent it from being hacked number one if you have two phones let one be for storing coins and let the other one be for buying and selling all right so if you have if you want to sell if you want to buy and sell right do it on only one phone and let the other phone be strictly for storing coins all right so that you know that yes the one that is used for storing coins you will not use it to interact with any link all right you will not use it to interact with any link whatsoever if you need to do any transaction any buying and selling send it send your coins from the one that is meant for storing from that phone you send it to the one to the phone that is meant for buying and selling and then you do your transaction there all right this is just to ensure that because one thing you should understand is that for for somebody to have for your account to be hacked your contribution is needed so if you have a phone that does not interact with any kind any kind of link nobody has control over that except you okay then secondly if you do not have two phones if you don't have money to buy two phones you can actually have one phone right you can actually have one phone and have multiple wallets on it in it rather right so let me give you an example so this is trust wallet that i just opened right so if you click here here that says airdrop wallet if i click on it you will see different wallets that i have created you can create more than one you can create up to 20 self 
you can create up to 20 um individual wallets inside your decentralized exchange app all right now name all of them so that you don't get confused you can have one for airdrop you can have more than one for airdrop depending on maybe how much you trust that particular airdrop all right so um be airdrops maybe i've not explained what airdrops are airdrops are like like free money right that crypto developers give to to traders to encourage them to um trade their coin it's as simple as that all right these people use it to raise funds for crypto this is it's also airdrops are also very good but then it is free money so you have to be extra careful so it is good that you use a different wallet for it all right it is good that you use a different wallet entirely for it use a different wallet to trade use another different wallet to keep your long-term holds and so on and so forth all right you can have more you can like i said you can have up to 20 and name them different things use them for different things all right so uh, maybe i'll make another video explaining airdrops right i'll be dropping some other um information about airdrops later on but just know that you should have different wallets for different purposes don't use the one for your long-term holds to buy and sell don't use the one for your buying and selling for airdrops because there are some airdrops that are not 100 percent genuine right they may just be out there to collect your money so it does not make any sense that in a bid in a bid to get free money you then lose your hard-earned money that you have in your long-term hold wallet or your buying and selling wallet do you understand so that is it you just have to be careful right then um like i said like i said make sure that each wallet has a purpose right and you use it strictly for that purpose if you if you name a particular uh, wallet you can create as many as you want if you click if you if you save one as airdrop wallet make sure that it is only airdrop that you use it for do not use it to buy and sell do not use it to store your coins don't do it all right so um thirdly avoid clicking on a wolf links all right all these nft links on your trust wallet and so on and so forth let me click here you can see where i say nft sometimes you will see some um some information here telling you that you have won one million dollars you have won one thousand dollars you have won twenty thousand dollars you in your heart you know that you did there was never a time that you interacted with that airdrop you did not do that you did not participate in that airdrop you know that you did not buy or sell that that coin so why then are you clicking on a link that tells you that you have won so, so, so and so money from a particular coin i don't know if i'm making sense to you so that's exactly what it is a lot of people just i don't know should i say it is greed or so you know you did not you did not you you have not heard of this you don't have any connection with this particular coin all right and then you are they are telling you that you have won one million dollars from it and you are clicking on links i think you are just being unreasonable you are not being careful you are just throwing caution to the wind and this is how some people lose their hard and money especially when they are now clicking on the link in a wallet that maybe is meant for their long-term hold or is meant for their um for buying and selling then and another thing about these hackers, hackers is that they are very smart once you click on that can that kind of once you interact with that kind of link and they end up wiping that your account even if you think okay that one has gone you can actually put in more cryptos into that wallet and they as long as you keep putting in crypto they'll keep wiping them out so it's better you do not interfere with links that you do not recognize at all okay so just be careful like i said earlier nobody can hack your account nobody can hack your wallet without your contribution so just be careful and you'll be fine all right then another thing is number four you can go to settings and turn on security you can go to settings here and turn on security all right you can see security down below preference all right just uh, i think this is where you can set up google authentication and so on and so forth you can also use your um, phone number or your email to connect it so that it will give you some layer of security all right so add, um then number five avoid importing wallets that you you have good money on you have good money into your laptop all right so because your laptop is not always with you so if somebody 
uh, i think your phone is more with you than your laptop is with you so if somebody has access to your laptop i think laptop self is also the way one of my crypto friends actually lost some money a while ago so just be careful about that all right be careful about airdrops too all right airdrops are good they give you good money so they have given a lot of people good money all right then there are you can also have a another another um wallet strictly for buying and selling of shit coins or meme coins i will explain what airdrops are i'll also explain what shit coins or meme coins are i would um may, i may make a video on it so that you understand better but it's just like shit coins and meme coins are just like coins that don't really have utility people are just maybe for the noise of it people are just earlier people who invested in the coin earlier just make good money from it and then the coin dies off just like that some people participate in shit coins and meme coins right so do not use your wallet that you are using for your serious coins all right so use them um, don't use the wallet that you used to buy and sell like serious coins that have utility and use cases don't use that same wallet for shit coins don't use that same wallet for airdrops don't use that same wallet for long-term holds like i said you can open as many wallets as possible that you like so there's no need sharing them all right so there's no need interfering one with another all right so that is that for securing your wallet your decentralized wallet like i said in the at the beginning of this video the best is the physical one if you do not have the money for the physical one then you can have two phones if you do not have two phones you can have one um wallet you can have one um decentralized exchange app and then have different wallets for different purposes inside it so that will be all thank you see you in the next video